It's where science fiction meets science fact. A material 200 times stronger than steel, yet so light even a block of its powder can balance on a flower. Graphene is the first wonder material of the 21st century and it's expected to transform almost every aspect of life. Aravind Vijay Aragavan leads the graphene research team at Manchester University. It's the strongest material in the world, it's the thinnest material, it's bendable, stretchable, transparent, super light, etc. Very the best conductor of heat, the best conductor of electricity. So it's not just one thing that makes it amazing, it's the fact that it's all these things rolled into one. From condoms to cancer therapy, bendable touchscreens to batteries that'll charge planes in seconds. Graphene's potential is practically limitless. There's even talk of desalination. Tennis players are some of the first to benefit. Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray both now play with rackets made from a graphene composite. A carbon lattice just a single atom thick, graphene is the first ever man-made material in two dimensions. It comes from graphite, itself made up of layer upon layer of graphene. Isolating a single sheet wasn't done until 2004 by scientists at Manchester University, a feat that won them the Nobel Prize. In a tiny flake like this, there are enough layers of graphene to cover a tennis court, maybe even a football pitch. But the fact it's that thin also makes it extremely difficult to handle. Think of cling film. If you try to handle that, you're already facing a nightmare. It gets, it gets everywhere, it crinkles up, it sticks to everything. So it's the same thing except some, think of something that's, that's a million times thinner. It's a problem that means large-scale production is still between 10 and 20 years away. Electrolysis is one option, driving lithium ions into graphite to push the layers of graphene apart. The process can be upscaled, but businesses are still wary of investing at such an early stage. According to Professor Ian Kinlock, it's a common problem, even for a discovery that could change the world. You have this massive interest where everyone's really excited about the material. And everyone's throwing money and ideas and press are talking about it, it goes like that. And then you realise actually there's quite a number of challenges as we've discussed to get it into the marketplace. There's a dip. They call this a valley of death. The National Graphene Institute's being built to help bridge that gap. Britain and the EU investing £60 million between them. So far it only has one major industrial partner, but with close to 10,000 patents worldwide already, there's no doubting graphene's potential. It's merely a question of when the gold rush begins.